Hey folks, welcome back to another Poem Masters video, and today we're going to check out uh, Entei and Aunt Evelyn. Uh, as you could probably tell, the phone screen doesn't really exactly fit my uh, my regular layout, nor does the uh, language. Um, I, I don't know much about Italian, unfortunately. I think I know one word. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's, I think it's in Italian. Um, so, yeah, uh, as, as you guys probably uh, guessed, uh, no, I did not um, exchange for any of the Master Fairs. I have the ticket. I'm just saving it for, you know, if something more interesting in the future drops. Uh, I do like Evelyn. Uh, however, there are more Battle Frontier units. Just in case they drop, you know, more Battle Frontier PP Master Fairs in the future, there are a few more that I'd like ahead of Evelyn, personally, right? Uh, for example, if they drop Pyramid Brendan in there, I would definitely want Pyramid Brendan, <laughs> uh, Pyramid King Brendan. Um, but yeah, uh, uh, again, I, I am saying my tickets. None of the units are like fantastic either. Like Copalian's fine, but then again, uh, like I mentioned laboriously before, Scyther's probably more than enough to fill Cobalion's role, anyways. And none of them are amazing, I'd say, right? But um. Uh, regardless, let's uh, let's let's sh uh, let's check Evelyn out. So shout out to huge huge shout out to Maku for uh, providing me with the the footage so we could check it out. I've actually I haven't seen this yet, so um, hopefully it's hopefully hopefully it's fun, right? Because um, uh, there's there, there's a few things that that you could definitely do with um, Evelyn and hey, this one's two out of five. Again, the grid doesn't really matter, right? I mean, the grids aren't all fantastic. There's some good stuff here and there, like like a first aid for Ente is definitely nice as a tank. But not the biggest deal in the world, I don't think, right? Uh, but yeah, she definitely does have the uh, the master passive, right? The fire teamwork, uh, which in this case, three fire units, that is an extra 20%. Um, it's just that, like, it's an equivalent of a crit strike two amounts of, you know, multipliers or a charging sun two, however you want to see it, right? Um, it's just not really worth using a unit that overall doesn't help your team that much just for the fire master master passive, at least in my opinion, right? Um, but yeah, she's okay. She has extra regen all, she has defense buffs. In my opinion, she's probably the weakest of the three um master units, but she is a new character and not the main character, so that's kinda cool. <laughs> Plus it's Ente, I really like Sente. Um so let's uh let's let's check this out then. Let's check this out. Let me uh, go to the beginning. Uh, they are using strength, which uh, strength and HP. Oh my goodness! Um, personally, not a huge fan of giving strength uh, for mass mode. Uh, I don't mind it. It's not you know, it's not much harder uh, or whatever. It's just I, I I don't like when I give opponents defenses just because I like seeing big numbers and then defenses doesn't uh, give you as big numbers. But uh, it's fine. All right, let's check this out. Let's check this out. Um, let's see how this one goes. So the first one they're running Blaine and Red and Charizard, which makes a lot of sense, right? Because set Sun, Charizard, big damage. And the opponents are uh, fire weak in this case, right? Oh, especially not for this stage, because Koga has a crit shield, right? Ooh. All right, we'll we'll see then. We'll see. It's it's not uh, it's definitely not an optimal. Um, ooh, they did warn us of the flashing. So, uh, all right, that's the trainer move. It is only one MP though. That trainer move. That trainer move does give a uh, plus four defense and special defense for a whole team. That's uh, X regen all, right? Um, as I fake trying to read. Uh, Italian, except I'm just looking at the translation <laughs> on, on my computer, <laughs> uh, or like the, the the English version of the move set and stuff. So, all right, getting the um, crits up in there. Uh, I mean, I personally would go for you know double um, double double trainer move and and a crit buff instead of double crit buff and a trainer move um, with Charizard for for this ink, but that's fine as well. All right, Electro Web. Slightly sucks, but uh, the great thing uh, that I do like about Ente is uh, is the uh, Revenge Boost Nine, which does give a gauge every time you get hit, right? And most most of the time Ente is a tank, so there's that, right? Also, um, if you guys have like Ridge Rock or or whatever, let me know so we could if you want. Yeah, if you also don't mind uh, a showcase on on the channel with your Ridge Rock, uh, let me know if you guys have Ridge because I I haven't found anyone who has Ridge Rock yet. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no one like that, uh, poor Red Rock. Even though I do think Red Rock's significantly better. Oh, I wouldn't say significantly, but generally a bit more useful than, um, Evelyn in terms of the boss, but... Yeah. Okay. So, um, Sun's going away. So the great thing so far about Evelyn is we do have the heals, which are nice, and, um, 
and we are we'll see we'll see after this sync let's we'll see how much damage the sync does because again this does uh, evelyn's bidding is is that it does buff the team's defenses right uh although red also debuffs his defenses so but he's still like plus two which is not bad right um rabidash is at plus four plus six and entei's at plus six plus four right so uh yeah we'll we'll see how much we take from this tank i do think these parameters are relatively nice or at least the hp parameters are relatively nice for showcasing um evelyn the slight issue is as you can see without refreshable sun um well sun goes away <laughs> right sun goes away uh and especially these longer stages okay all right just to pass the turn turn to move it does debuff the uh defenses but oh well gotta do what you gotta do i guess it is a one out of five charizard so you don't have um so you don't have the uh the, the move gauge regen after after the sync unfortunately so all right let's yeah that's a uh, flame wheel by the way flame wheel let me read the uh, english word removes frozen condition where the user has a 10 percent chance of leave, leaving the target burn. Oh, there we go. 10% chance to burn. Although, I don't think they have status on here. Oh, never mind. They do have status on here. Okay, the opponent is already burned. Oh, that's not bad, I guess. Yeah. Also, decreases opponent's physical damage uh, on us overall. Another sun right before the sink. That's not a terrible decision, right? Uh, that's pretty nice. And we do have uh, endurance. Oof. The poison, though. The poison, though. Although, this most likely um, would finish it off, I would imagine, right? So, yeah, this is what? Three sinks. Uh, Entei, again, help the team survive three sync cycles. Uh, uh, or our sync cycles, not the opponent's. Opponent's obviously going to use a sync in two more turns for the second one, but uh, not bad. Not bad, right? Again, uh, Evelyn, I do think, uh, not the best in master mode but evelyn is actually uh could be really nice in something like a legendary arena or something right it's, it's just that the current legendary arena not you know isn't the best for showcasing evelyn specifically because it's weak to paralysis and none of these uh fire fire guys really have much to do with paralysis i guess <laughs> anyways um oh i don't know why they did oh no no oh they can't you can't pick up the uh the shields because they have crit shield the, the damage reduction all right i'm assuming the same parameters just a bunch of strength stuff so we'll see how this one goes. This one has no sun, but is two fire type damage damage dealers with both Leon and Evelyn over here. Uh, let's see uh, a few things. Uh, first of all, the, the extra damage buff for for these, you know, because they're both uh, fire type strikers, so they do have the striker um, team skill. I don't know why it's flashing, but it is. Uh, again, I do apologize for that. Um, they do have the fire type uh, uh, theme skills, which is nice. Um, but I do want to see if Evelyn is generally enough for the gauges right because um that would be a slight issue but evelyn again does have the uh upside of do having you know plus one gauge every time uh we get hit however the downside is evelyn's lowest gauge move is also two gauge move so <laughs> all right uh and she's pretty fast i guess she has what 295 speed at level 140 so there's that, right? And in her gauge, she doesn't really have too much at two out of five, right? Um, just basically the move gauge refresh for uh for 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 for, for the the moves, right? And then you have dirty fighting too, which isn't huge here, right? I mean, Evelyn can do some damage just because she's fire type and you have sun. But her base attack is 200, a uh, 203 at level 140, so that's not you know obviously not a lot. Um, let's see what else. Solar shields, kind of whatever. Um, I'll look sorry would have helped in that, in that last round if we actually had Sun still up, right? Uh, Tighten up is okay, toughen up's okay, endurance is fine, right? Stalwart's not bad. Alright, and the move gets refresh on X regional for some reason. <laughs> Alright, here's a speed down, which is slightly cringe. Uh, I probably would have waited for that one last game. I feel like we could have gotten that one, but oh well. Anyways, uh, heat wave over here. Looks like overall gauge, um, not keeping up super well. Uh, it's not like terrible or whatever, but it's also it also hasn't been like the best. Uh, I think we no, we I think we could have gotten that last gauge there, but alright, that's fine. Um, okay, yeah, this is why I don't like strength, especially for um for for showcase videos because it's not fun. <laughs> <laughs> seeing like it do like it tries to do like 1000 damage because again it does buff the opponent's defenses 
Um, but they also have crit shield up right now, so there's also that. Okay. Um, unfortunately, there's no rejuvenate on this one, so we're not getting um, we're not getting our move gauges back here. We get a quad Q, and that is pretty poggers. Uh, we do have a free move here, so that's nice with the uh, Inferno. And that's Sacred Fire. Doesn't do too much either. Uh, let's go with uh, the Blast Burn, right? <laughs> Inferno. 3k without crit. It's still really, really good. I mean, it's Leon, so... <laughs> right? They have super effective up here as well. Alright, I probably just use that in X, X region all just to pass turns, right? Because, like, why not? But, oh, we also don't really need it, because... Uh, the poison here is slightly unfortunate. Let's see... Uh, heat wave. Took out one of the sides. I right, go with the sink. Sink? Sink? Are we sinking? I don't know why. We didn't go with the sink. Um Alright, we're getting Oh no no no! Okay, this is a pleasant surprise. We're getting an Evelyn sink. Look at that. That's cool. Let me check out the Evelyn uh, sink move animation over here. Assuming they don't skip it. Alright, that, that's kinda cute, that's kinda cute. That's nice, that's nice. Alright, I mean, it did, don't do any damage, but the animation is just cool to see. I actually haven't seen it yet. Alright, there we go, 10,000 damage. Fantastic. <laughs> Even with strength up. Alright, so that'd be, hey, that's, that's red. That's red for you. Alright, um, that's very, very, very cool, I guess. Uh, yeah, again, I'm personally not taking it, uh, but if you guys like it, that's fine, right? I mean, uh, if you guys like Evelyn, new, if you want a new character, I, I get the feeling of wanting to have a new character. Uh, just personally, I don't really think the unit's overall that worth it. I'd rather just save the ticket just in case we get something uh more interesting in the future um because because we we did literally just go through the uh first round of the bp right we just got to 10k points and um i'm assuming we might get some new stuff soon so that's why i personally just save it but again for those who like it you could pick it up it's uh it's fun it's a new unit um should be really really good in legendary should be really nice in the um uh, oh no, it's not Kabal. I thought we were getting Kabal tonight. No, it's it's Entei. Never mind. Uh, but yeah, it should be good. A general, you know, a good general um, uh, defense support in Legendary Arena, right? Or if you're uh, throwing up defense or HP parameters and 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 um, uh, mass mode <laughs> should also help us also. Anyways, uh, that's me. This one, hope you all enjoyed. Let me guys think in the comments down below. Like you know, this video, subscribe to the channel for some more Pokemon as well. Again, big mm -hmm. shout out to Maku for uh, for showing us this stuff. And also, if you guys got Red Rock, DM me on like Discord or something <laughs> if you also you know want to be in a uh, video. So so we could we could check that out. So uh, have fun, folks. I'll see you guys in the next one.